and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for April 24. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, quick update on my c -sharp course. I'm currently editing the first few lectures for the advanced section, which will be out soon, and the free YouTube video with the intermediate section, that one will be out on next Monday. Also, course students and channel members get access to the private community Discord, as well as the QA and live streams that happen every Saturday. So if you have any questions, join the live stream and ask, and I'll do my best to help. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a fun one all about generating gears. You can define how many gears you want, then how many teeth per gear, and where exactly does the chain connect. It's all procedurally generated, so it looks really great. You can apply and move all kinds of gears with all kinds of teeth, and it all makes sense. Honestly, this looks quite complex for a free asset. I just recently got into cycling, and whenever I get into something, I go on YouTube and watch tons of videos on that topic, and in this case I just watched some videos on how bicycle gears work now is fascinating. So based on that, if you'd like to make some kind of simulator game involving gears, then this asset is perfect. Next, if you need a low poly character, check out this one. It's a pretty nice original design. So if you're tired of the standard low poly sort of synthy style, if so, then this looks like a great alternative. It is low poly, but clearly a different style. This one kind of reminds me of the game Absolver. It's a humanoid character, so you can combine it with any animations. Then here's a bit of a strange one. It's a warehouse. This is an asset officially made by Unity. Apparently it's what they use for their digital twin tools. It's a complete warehouse, so you have all kinds of shelves, cargo, equipment, and a bunch of workers. This is technically meant for making a virtual warehouse, just like you would have in real life, and then you can do something like train an AI robot to learn how to walk around this warehouse and do all kinds of tasks, and after training it, you can then place that robot in real life, and it will know how to navigate that real world environment. I must say the concept of digital twins is something that does fascinate me. In an alternate universe where I hadn't gotten into game development, if so, I think I would have gotten into robotics working on these kinds of systems. Then for a nice tool, here is Hierarchy Designer. The default Unity hierarchy is super basic, there's really no way to organize things, which can make it quite tricky when you have a complex scene setup, whereas with a tool like this, you can make it much more organized by applying a bunch of folders, or you can make some things much more visible with some icons or some colors. This one looks quite impressive, really capable, and all in all, it's a free tool. Next, for some fun visuals, here are some loading screen VFX. This is the kind of thing you can see during various cutscenes in a sci-fi game where the character is interacting with some screen. Or maybe, for example, inside of a cutscene, you could use this just in regular gameplay. So in some game, kind of like Dead Space, where you control a character, whenever the player interacts with some computer, you could show this kind of loading screen. It looks very good, very sci-fi, perfectly matches that aspect. You've got several colors to choose which one you prefer. Or maybe instead, you need a tool to highlight some object or a character. If so, check out this one. It's a post-processing effect to highlight characters or some object on screen. This is really excellent for doing things like tutorials, where you really want to guide the players to look at one very specific spot. This one includes lots of effects for different ways you can highlight objects. Some are pixelated, some are just a round circle, so you can apply this in various ways. This is a very useful tool for all kinds of scenarios, or if you want, you can just download and inspect it to learn how to make some custom post-processing effects. And then here's a fun pack with a bunch of ships and planes. Every time I see a pack like this with a bunch of vehicles, I always think the same thing. I really wish I had the time to build a complete RTS game. As a kid, I spent a lot of time playing Age of Empires and Command and & Conquer. For making those kinds of games, all you really need is just a pack like this one. Just a bunch of things with some vehicles, some planes, boats, cars, and so on. You just need those and just make different colors, and suddenly you have multiple factions you can control. Or maybe with the same pack, you could make one of those arcade helicopter games. Just fly a helicopter around some kind of base and shoot down cars and vehicles. Then for another nice visual tool, here is Mini Shadow. This one lets you cast a shadow on an imaginary plane, meaning it's not an actual shadow, it's not controlled by any lights, it's not based on having a lit material or anything like that. It's really a fake shadow, and you can cast shadows from either 2D or 3D objects, then you can play around with various settings, modify the intensity or the attenuation of the mask. And then if you need to upgrade your game's visuals, one of the best ways to do that is with a skybox like this one. This one is a pack with 15 super high resolution skyboxes. They all look really nice and stylized. You've got lots of variation between some blue clear skies or some gorgeous sunsets. Or if instead you need some kind of weird monster creature, check out this one. It's really weird, a very unique design, very flesh-like. It's got all kinds of weird appendages and also includes some strange animations like swimming and punching while submerged. I guess it makes sense for some kind of water creature. 
And it also comes with some really cool, strange bone axe weapon. So if you wanted, you could just take this weapon and use that with some kind of human character. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for April 24. There's links in the description. And also check out my own free and on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.